When I was in high school, I did argue in my mind that we do not have sufficient information to show that the square root of 2 is irrational. How did I come to this? The fact that we, don't, we did not get to the end of the decimals never meant that there was no end to the decimals because nobody has reached infinity. What if just before we get to infinity, you find out that the digits of the square root of 2 begins to repeat all over? Who really, 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 really knows whether the square root of 2 is irrational or not? That was my argument. And then I was given a proof that the square root of 2 is irrational, which was the proof by contradiction. And then over time, I came across this proof, which I completely forgot, and it just came back to my mind. And I want to show you that there is another proof that you can find somewhere. It's out there that the square root of 2 is irrational just using the rational root theorem. It is very easy to understand. Let's get into it. And this is how the proof goes. Consider this equation. By the rational root theorem, if this equation has rational roots, then the rational roots must obey this rule. We say if x squared minus 2 equals 0 has rational roots r, then the rational roots must be equal to p over q, which in this case will be Something where, so remember the rational roots theorem says that if any polynomial has rational zeros, the zeros would be in this form, p over q, where p is a factor of the constant and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. That's the rule. So in this case, the factors of 2 are p. p could be plus or minus. It doesn't matter. So the, the candidates for p are p must be equal to one of these, either plus or minus 1, which are the factors of 2, or plus or minus 2. And the factors of Q are, this is just 1, so 1 doesn't have any factors. So the, the values of P must be plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, or minus 2, according to the rational root theorem. And that's how we do our remainder theorem and all that. So if this has rational solution, the solution has to be p over q. In this case, it is p over 1. So our p could be plus or minus 1. So the possible values of r, so we can say, therefore, r must be plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, or minus 2. Those are the possible solutions that are rational when you solve this equation. However, but... The roots of x squared minus 2 equals 0 are, if you solve this, what do you get? You get x squared minus equals 2, rather. You can say x squared equals 2, so that x will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. So it means x equals plus 2, plus square root of 2, or minus square root of 2. So, what do we see? Well, according to the theorem, according to the rational roots theorem, if they're rational, they have to be one of these. But it doesn't look like this is one of these. And because this is not in the set of rational solutions, it is not a rational number. By the rational root theorem square root of 2 and negative square root of 2 
are not in the set of rational roots, even though they are roots. Therefore, the square root of 2 is not rational. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.